What is up, guys? LP Squirtle King here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we took on the fourth gem here in Celadon City and owned it with our brand new Nine Tails. Don't go in that menu. Go in this menu. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that pretty girl. Ah, uh, I am just. Ah, uh, this is my favorite Pokemon, and I love it so much. Ah. Uh, Fortunately, you have to take a back seat for now. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm an idiot. Before I started this episode, I forgot to go get Bass Ran. BRB. Okay, there we go. I just taught Fluffy Attract. Just got rid of that TM. Just decided, you know, let's see if we can make some use of it. And my... I did not want Visual Boy Advance to go full screen on me. Shut up. Stupid touchpad. Gosh. Anyways. Alright, so let's start off with... Let's put Gekigami out in front. Well, actually, no. Knowing, I think I know who this guy has. I'm going to put Shuryu out in front. I believe this guy has a Zubat and Eradicate. So let's fight this guy. He's er yep, Eradicate to start off. So Brick Break will take care of this thing pretty easily. Um, I believe this, the game actually intends for you to go into this area that we're about to head into before going into the next gym. So we're going to be pretty overleveled for this place. Like, really overleveled. No, yeah, thinking more about it, yeah, we're going to be incredibly overleveled. It's, like, sick how overleveled we're going to be. Shoot. <laughs> well, experience is experience. It's just we're not going to be taking much damage all going into this. Mostly by quick attacks from Tatas and Raticates. There you go, Zubat. Yeah, this guy's battling us in the middle of a casino. What the heck? I don't have but I better tell boss. He disappeared in and out. What the? Oh! What's? I can't. What just happened? At least in red, blue, and yellow, they used a trick where you couldn't see where he went because of the side-scrolling limitations. But what the heck, man? Yeah, let's push it. Oh my gosh, stairs! Welcome to the rock out hideout. Rock out hideout. Wow, rocket hideout, everybody. So let's start this thing off. These guys have a lot of poison types, so um. Shrew Yu is really going to be our champ. This, yes, I am keeping the nickname Shrew Yu, by the way. I just think it's too funny. And he's going to be our, pretty much our champ because they all have normal types of poison types, so. Don't really expect much else. And even the flying poison types, we have Rock Slide for that, so. He's really the ultimate weapon in taking on Rocket Grunts. He really is. Rick Breaky, your face! There he goes. Except for I don't want to use him too much because of her, because of experience. You know, I don't want him getting over leveled. So let me think. Yeah, I wanna I wanna switch him for your let's switch him for Fluffy, why not? Man, our team is so I am just amazed at how good my team is right now. Okay, there's an escape rope. Guess you could use that. We have dig though, so what's the point, right? Guy here. Let's fight him. Okay. And here is Drowsy. Fluffy, take care of him. Can't use a track, of course, because, well, it's a guy. I mean, Fluffy, you're not like that, right? You're not you're not a gay Flareon, no. You're straight. You're a charmer. What are we talking about? You get all the girls. This is why you have a tract. Only mo oh, he's only going to have it temporarily, though. We're not going to keep that on him. Jeez. Don't even think that we are. Ah, seismic toss. Just as the game just as the game makes Sonic Boom obsolete, they bring in seismic toss, which is more powerful because they're, uh, they're higher than level 20. Ugh. Damn it. All right. So is there anything? No, there's just a door. All right. Let's go downstairs now. I'll we'll probably get through this whole dungeon. I think we'll get through this whole dungeon in this video. Or at least I'll try to. See how fast we can get through it. Uh, actually, I probably should be cutting out these fights, shouldn't I? Uh, yeah, I'm cutting this one out. It's too long. All right, I will see you guys in a sec. Seriously, five level 17 Pokemon. Yeesh. Anyways, Fluffy did hit level 29 during that fight. Put Gekigami out in front now. And let's do this thing. Okay, this whole place is a little bit of a maze. It's not really hard to figure out at all, though. 
There's a bunch of items in this maze, though, that you're going to want to get. I believe that was a nugget in the original game that you got there. Not an X-Speed. Whatever. Okay, there's a TM-12. It contains Taunt, which is pretty much a useless move. I really... just... there's nothing good about Taunt. I'm sorry, there just isn't. Very easy maze. Alright, there we go. So that's all that was... That all, that's all it took. Wait a minute. Oh, that's on the third floor. Okay. So let's head over here. There's two grunts in here, as well as this. I'm going to skip both these fights, but I am going to do them right now. So, see you in a sec. Alright, Kigami hit level 29 in that fight, so let's switch over to Shigure, who got poisoned. I have antidotes, though, that I actually bought before the um, fighting, before completing the whole gym in, um, here in Celadon, because of all the poison they kept using. So, I can use one of those. I have four more to spare. And let's go fight this guy! Ugh. Man, both of the po Pokemon that we need to uh, get to... that are... Ugh, such a long fight. Both of the Pokemon that we need that still have yet to evolve, both evolve at level 36. Why? Well, whatever. Anyways, see you in a minute. Oh, hi, I'm supposed to be talking. What the heck, man? Uh, let's go this way. <laughs> okay, um, over here there's another fight. Uh, there's a T there's an item down there. I don't. I think it's a TM. Now, in the original games, that was Double Edge. Double. The reason Double Edge has been placed there in the original games is because if you had chosen Flareon, it made a great move to teach Double Edge. However, in this game, Double Edge is not available until towards the end of the game, um, as a, or at least the end of the main game, as a T as a move tutor. I mean, from via a move tutor is the only way you can get it. So we will not be teaching it to Flareon, unfortunately, because we won't have it. If this were Generation One, we would though. So that's just letting you know. But yes, there, because there is no double edge TM in the Generation Three. In the Generation Three. And down goes my chop. And you're dead. Yeah, I didn't even need to cut that out. Because I pretty much was done with the fight before I finished my explanation. It's frustration, which is a terrible move. Because why would your Pokemon be losing happiness unless you used herbs on them all day? Alright. First things first. Let's grab this. It's a rare candy. Getting those like crazy, man. We got three of them stocked up. We didn't even use those on our team's over level. Holy crud. Let's fight this guy. You can skip him, which is why I'm going to cut this out. Alright. There we go. Sugar Ray is now level 30, so let's put let's put Bass Ran out in front now. He's got the least screen time in this video. In fact, he's got none at all. Let's grab this item, and it is a black glasses, which raises gra um, dark type moves by 10%. Now let's go downstairs. Over here is, I believe, a vitamin. No, not that. Oh, it's a max ether. It was an iron, I believe, in the original game. No, I know where the iron is in, the, in this, and it might still be here. This is the TM. It is 49. It contains Snatch. In the original game, it was Razor Wind. How I know this is just beyond me. I have not played red, blue, or yellow in years. <laughs> but whatever. All right, coughing. You have lower physical or special defense than physical defense, so I'll just water pulse you in the face. What the heck? I'm not even double clicking. Stupid touchpad. Okay, next is Zupat. Zubat, not Zup. Zupat. And there he goes! And Bastion is now level 30. Awesome. No! Oh no! I dropped the lift key! That's nice. So. Let's head upstairs, and wondering what the lift the lift key does. The left key. Wow. You want to know what the lift key does? Well, I will show you. So let's go through this whole maze again. I have this whole path memorized. It's crazy. Cause I'm insane. And let's go here. And look, we're going in the elevator. What is this? But wait, we're gonna go to the first floor first. Because there is a fight we can do. 
Oh wait, I forgot to switch Bass Ran out of the front. Shoot. And he has Grimer. Oh look, oh, look crap! I want to actually. I knew want to. I do want to show this though because you do want to do this fight. It's not required, but it's very, very nice if you. Do. Well, it's not very, very nice, but it's like it, it unlocks something though. It's not like it's a pointless, just another pointless experience gaining fight. I'll, I'll show you. That's This is why I'm showing it. Why am I not switching out? Okay, whatever. I don't even care. Fast run, you get some extra experience. Hoorah. Enjoy it. And there goes Team Rocket Grunt. Now, doing that, open the doors up here so we can actually... Uh, here on the first floor so you can get down to the elevator. That's what that did. That's why I wanted to show that. Now, let's go to the fourth floor. And let's grab this. Calcium, that's what it is, not iron. Uh, what the heck, let's give that to... Let's give it to the Pokemon we're not using for a while. <laughs> Just because I like spoiling my Ninetales. Oh wait, actually, let's give those black glasses to, um... To Bassaran because of Bite Attack. Why not? Uh, Alright, I'm switching... Let's switch Shrew-U out to front. Because the poison types, you know, all that good stuff. There's two grunts here. We have to fight them both to get through that door. Let's do this. Sandshrew. That's nice. Oh, uh, wait, why did I use Rock Slide? It's not very effective, stupid. Maybe it flinched. No, of course not. I'm just dumb. Ugh. I used a fence curl, which is not fun. There we go, at least it goes down. Oh, but sand attack. And oh, it has a sand slash, I think. Bassaran, get back out here. If this were fire red, we would have a grass type on our team, which would probably be Vile Plume. But you cannot get Oddish and Leaf Green, which is why I don't have it. So, yeah. Just, just wanted to point that out there for any of those of you who are wondering why I don't have a grass or a poison type. Um, I, the only poison type I would other, the only other poison type I consider getting is um, Grimer, but we cannot get Grimer until much, much later in the game. So yeah, there's that, and you're probably wondering why not coughing. Well, I like Grimer. I like the fact that Grimer has a special defense, is a special defender, not a physical defender. I like that a lot. Ah. Power core, get back in there, you silly slut. There we go. Don't go all dim on me, computer screen. Alright. Yes, laptop. I record off laptops. What's it to you? Not desktops. I don't own a desktop, nor have I in... Well, I did own a desktop once. Well, actually, we still own it. It's just packed away in storage because the thing is like... It's, let's say, okay, here's a, here's a hint. It's so ancient that it has probably 20 gigabytes of hard drive, and that was, like, cutting edge when it came out. Okay, um, so let's switch over to this guy now. This guy, I believe, has, um, one Sandshrew, and then it also has Ekans and Arbok, so it's basically the reverse of the last guy that we just fought. It's gonna start out with an Ekans, and then I think it's gonna bring out... Arbok slash Sandshrew, probably Sandshrew second, just so he can screw with us, because we have Gekigami out front. So let's thunderbolt you in the head. And down goes Ekans. Now it's probably going to bring out Sandshrew, like I said. Yep. I are smart. And what the heck? Let's bring out Fluffy. He doesn't even know any ground type moves, Sandshrew. That's the one downside to Sandshrew. Most of his ground type moves are TM based. That's the one reason I can ever give for anyone not liking Sandshrew. Let's just spam attack. Why am I button mashing the A button? That's really dumb. It's not even a button, it's a key. What the heck? Okay, just die. Just die. 
Okay. I am yawning again, which is really bad. Now it's gonna send an Arbok. Uh, let's put you back out there. Why not? This will probably get him up to level 30. Let me see. Well, no, it won't actually. It'll give him a good chunk of experience, though. Arbok knows Intimidate, which is annoying. I think this is the first Arbok we've seen. In all honesty. Dig a hole, dig a hole. Use bite! But he missed. Dig. Kill it, come on, kill it, kill it, kill it. Yeah! And whoa, there was a glitch in Vigil Boy Advance. I'm going to end this recording now. Right before... That! What is that sitting on that couch? We'll find out in the next episode. With this, guys, it's been LP Squirtle King. If you like this video, please subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Like my Facebook page. Links are in the description below. I'll see you guys next time for more Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green.